Hey guys, it's Kay there. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be designing another logo in Illustrator. But first, I'm going to start off with my sketch in Photoshop once again. Today I'm going to do another minimal design. It's going to be an owl. And this is going to be another one of my placeholder logos for future work. So I have a new layer created and I have a small brush, four pixels at 100% hardness and a nice blue color selected. So let's get drawing and start sketching out a logo. So I'm going to zoom in on my canvas just a bit. So for the owl, I've been looking at like owl shapes and like their face and their body outline. So I've noticed that um, they kind of round at the top and then they come down at the bottom a little bit narrower like that, except not as exaggerated. So I'm going to undo that. So I'm going to start off with like a, like a circle shape, which I can't draw for the life of me. So bear with me on the circle. <laughs> And at the bottom, we're going to have another circle, except it's going to be just a little bit smaller. And the body is going to be rounded around this. So it's going to come off that edge, down to the bottom like that. And the same over here. And then at the bottom, I'm probably going to flatten out the round just a bit more. Okay. Okay, very loose it's looking okay all right so now for the face they kind of have like this little um, point there it comes down um, so what we're gonna do is kind of round that and make the eyes out of that because we're not actually gonna be drawing any eyes we're just gonna be using the shape the the shape of the face so I'm gonna kind of lightly put that there for just a marker and then I want the face to be decent size but not too big. So something like that. And then it's got a little point down here at the bottom usually, but I'm gonna kinda round it off. All right, and we are gonna have the beak. So for the beak, I'm just gonna do like a odd shaped diamond. So at the bottom it's bigger and at the top it's actually a smaller point. So like that. And like I said, we're not going to do any eyes. The only other thing I want to do is I want to add one wing to this. Like he's kind of at an angle showing his one wing in front. So to do that, I'm actually going to cut it out of this shape we have here. So let's do like a, a line coming down like that. Okay. And then it kind of points down here. And it's going to follow the same curve of the body. All the way up might be a little too big I'll have to see and then we'll have this cut out of this shape so there's gonna be a gap here and that's gonna be pure negative space so I think my wings a little big so we're gonna go ahead and lower the opacity on this and refine this a bit before we take it into illustrator so I've created a new layer and on my wing, I'm actually going to make it just a bit smaller. So I'm just going to follow the same path, but just inside of it. Needs to be a little more rounded right there. All right, and then so I'm going to do the same thing with the cut out of the body, just a little bit inside the line, almost following the original line for the wing there. And then we'll shape in the body. Like that. And I like how this wing is kind of just a little bit further down than the body. Not too big of a gap down there. And let's do the face now. So just kind of like a rounded point like we have. We got like the eye outlines. It's a little pointed at the bottom. It's almost heart shaped, I've noticed. On some owls, it just depends on which kind what kind you're looking at. So I'm gonna round that off just a bit more. And then we can put in our little diamond shaped beak. 
a little off, but that'll be okay. So that's going to be kind of our basic owl. So I'm going to save this as a PNG and we'll hop into Illustrator. All right, so now we're in Illustrator. I have my sketch layer down here. I've lowered the opacity on it just a bit and I have it locked so we can't move it. Um, I know I want to remove this white fill. Uh, we're going to leave the stroke black for now. I'm trying to think about how I want to approach this. I'm assuming that we could use uh, the circle method we did, like sketching, make a circle here and one there, and then kind of pen tool them together. But I think I'm just going to pen tool it by hand, and I'm going to do one side, and then I'm going to flip it and merge them together. So I'm going to grab my rulers, and let's drag one out just about centered, something like that. And I'm going to start at the top and I'm assuming we could make one there and then that would round down to the bottom there and then we'll hit alt and make this a straight line and then I think we can fill that in yes okay so I'm gonna copy this and then I'm going to reflect it put them together I'll take them over here to make sure there's no gap line that up okay and then we can see a line to selection make sure they're centered and combine them so now if I change that to a stroke we have our shape okay so we're going to leave that there for now and then I'm going to do the same thing for the face so I'm going to start in the middle work my way up point there and then we could do probably one point at the bottom okay so I'm going to adjust this point make it go down just a bit and then on this one take it out more uh, maybe a little bit more yeah all right so I'm gonna fill this one I'm gonna copy it and reflect it as well I'm gonna line those up center them and group them okay Let's see yep there we go all right so I'm just gonna put that over here for now kind of line that up see how it's looking and then we need the wing and then we'll do the beak later because the beaks really easy so on the wing I'm just gonna freehand that out so let's do let's try to do this point down here Okay, we'll make that pointed for now. And I don't know if we're gonna be able to get away with that or not, nope. Let's make a point like right here. Kind of to start the curve and then we'll finish it up here. There we go. All right, so that's pretty much all we needed this sketch for. Now we're just gonna use it to align these together so let's put that on the line it needs to go down like a pixel or two All right and then we'll line that up nice alright so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to create a shape to cut out uh, from this one so I'm gonna grab my wing and copy it I'm gonna fill it in and I'm gonna lower the opacity down to like 20. Then I'm going to scale it up just a bit. And that way we have the shape of the wing doing the cut instead of me trying to mimic the line and not looking so good. Actually, let's do an offset. That'll be a lot easier. So I'm going to fill this in. I'm going to go to object and then path and then offset path. I use this tool all the time. So about 10 pixels. Let's try eight. 
think eight will look really good. So we're gonna select that. And then if I fill this in, and I'm just gonna make it a random color for now. Whoops, did that on the stroke. Remove the stroke and fill that red. All right, and then I'm gonna send that to the back. All right, so we can now grab the offsetted shape that we created, hold shift and grab our out outline, and then grab our shape builder tool, which I'm just gonna hit shift M to do. If I hold alt and select this right here, it cuts it out, and then we can just delete the rest of the uh, wing offset. So now we have that cut out, and we can turn this back to black. And you'll see we have that exact copy of the line. So I might want to smooth that out right there. I'm not real sure at the moment. So I'm going to drag this over to the side so I can see my sketch to work with. I'm going to grab the face, and we're actually going to now cut the face using the same tool from the outline. So I've selected both, shift M, click Alt, whoops, and there we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and create my beak. So to do that, I'm just going to use the pen tool. Let's do like that. Actually, let's do, let's just make a uh, square. I feel like that would be a little bit easier. Grab my rectangle tool, make a square rotate it 90 degrees and drag this point down just a bit and then this point and then let's make this a little bit narrower so let's line that up yeah we'll go with that we may need to make that a little smaller probably too big so I'm gonna center I'm gonna group these together and I'm going to center that with the beak. And then I'm going to make the beak smaller. Okay. So now we can drag these over to the side. I'm going to hide my sketch for now. All right. It's not exactly on my sketch centered. Come on. So I'm going to hide my guide now. How do I do that? View, guides, hide guides. All right. So now let's start working on cleaning this up a bit. So right here in the corner and in this corner, I want to add a bit of roundness, just a tiny amount, maybe a little more. So I'm going to do that again like that then I know I want to let's ungroup this I want this wing to be just a bit bigger I think so let's see if we scale that up and move it down and out a bit how that looks yeah that's a lot better okay and so at the bottom of the wing I also want to have a round but this time I want the round to be a lot smaller so like really tiny just so it's not so pointed then up here, I noticed we got some weird pixels going on. So let's see if we can fix this. There's a point, there's a point. Let's see if we can't uh, grab this handle. Whoops. So small. I don't know if I want to fix that or not. I feel like that fixed a lot of the uh, kind of awkwardness down there. Let's uh, see. Yeah, because it's kind of cutting inward. So if I redo that, yeah, it goes more outward. Yeah, I kind of like that. All right, so I want to do possibly a bit of work on this point. I don't like this point. I feel like it either needs to come in more 
or it needs to be pointed. Let's try the pointed. So I'm going to grab all of these points and drag down. Whoops, did I miss one? Drag down. Okay. And then let's round a little bit more right there and right there. Then at the bottom, I want this to round, that to be narrower. Do the same thing over here. I think that's looking pretty good. Um, I could spend all day adjusting pixels. For the sake of this video, I don't want it to be too long. So I'm going to leave that, and I'm going to find a good color for this now. All right, so let's uh, grab this, and I've got a green color. It's 3A, B, 5, 4A. Looking pretty good. And I said I wasn't going to do anything with the uh, pixels anymore, but I have to make this small adjustment. Um, I noticed that it was too round over here, and at the bottom it needs to come in a bit more. It doesn't look too much like the shape of an owl because of that. So we're going to adjust that just a little bit. Yeah, that swoop in on that side makes it kind of look like the owl is turned more and using his wing. Let's see if I can beef that up. And then let's redo that. I like both of those, so that's going to be a hard choice. I'm going to leave it like that because it matches the cut pretty well. All right, guys, so that is going to be the done logo. Let's put it beside a bit of text. So I'm going to copy it and group it. I'm going to group that one as well. And I'm going to also merge everything together so it's one shape. And we can scale this down, see how it looks small. Looks okay. Pretty hard to see. And let's just put. Uh, logo and then we'll do this as a typekit font and let's go with Proxima Nova and then 72 let's bump this up to bold probably 250 no 200 all right and then we'll have to scale this down a bit Align those together. And let's bump that one up. There we go. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this creative process for an owl logo. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. As always, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, it's Kaler. Thanks for watching the video. Click here to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you want to see this channel grow even more, don't forget to share this video. You can click the share button down below. Over here is YouTube's recommendation just for you, so go check out that video and let me know what you think in the comments. Up here is my newest video, and if you haven't seen it already, go give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.